citizenship. Now our other top story here at 530 Detroit police taking some of these ATVs off the streets. We have showed you the scene they've been causing at the height of rush hour. Coco McAvoy has the police chief's message for riders. ATV riders taking over busy intersections in Detroit. It's a site that's becoming all too common recently. Many of them think that because we've instituted a no chase policy that we'll just taunt the police and then we'll run and not going to chase us. Well, that's not how it's going to work. Last night, Detroit police showed how it is going to work from now on. What we are going to do is strategically address the problem. On Harper Avenue near Beaconsfield, officers seized and impounded four ATVs and mini bikes, arrested one person and detained six other people. We're going to contain you and when we do, we're going to seize your $4,000 ATVs. And we're going to do everything we can but you don't get it back. Resident Juwan Bryant sees it differently. They ain't hurt nobody riding them ATVs. I don't think so. Bryant does admit the riders get carried away at times, but believes there should be a compromise. If you got an ATV, stay on your block. Then you don't have that trouble. But once you go out here in the street doing willies and everything, then, you know what I'm saying? That's what the police really hate. And Detroit police are not tolerating it anymore. We're asking it to stop. But if you must, and you feel you want to taunt this police department, Oh, we're coming after you. And Chief Craig says officers are using social media and all kinds of technology to help crack down on this problem. Back to you. Now, Coco, I know police and city officials were talking about finding a place where people could ride those ATVs safely. What's the latest on that? Are they any closer to a plan? So Chief Craig says that's still in the works. They're still talking about a place where ATV riders can ride those bikes safely. All right, but no official decision has been made. All right, thank you, Coco.